Almost three years later, I honestly never thought I was ever going to do this again. I've teased about doing this again in some of my other videos. Call it clickbait, call it whatever you want. It's actually right here where I'm standing is the last time I did this. And that was shaving my head bald. Already got the shaving cream. My old friend, The Remington, which I originally bought just for this video three years ago, makes a return. And uh, there is no clickbait in today's video. We are bringing out a razor and we are going bald. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, going to the shower and washing my hair for the last time was really depressing, but uh, look, let's get rid of it. I thought I would wash, shampoo and condition my hair for one last time because I know how long this takes to grow back. Literally was a waste of shampoo and conditioner though, but I will admit the nice shiny hair on the floor was going to look nice. Don't exactly remember how we did this last time, so we're just going to go with the razor with absolutely nothing on it and then shave my head with the proper razor. But let's get one straight down in the middle. Let's go with the anti-mohawk to start it off. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like guys. Let's shave my head bold. Straight up the middle. Oh, jeezy, look at that, that is literally, that is, <laughs> oh man, that's great. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm one of the Backstreet Boys. Let's go, I feel like I'm from the <laughs> 90s with this hairstyle. It's nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I think the razor as itself works well, it's looking pretty good. Dude, I didn't realize my hair was so long. Do this side. Grandpa. Yeah, I want to look like George Costanza. I mean, the bald look. Why? There's nothing wrong with being bold. There are plenty of bold men everywhere. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, give me that old man look. Can we scruff it up a bit? Oh, <laughs> look at it! I got the old man look going on, baby. Let's go. See, I'm not going to lie. Getting my head shaved in the summer here in Australia here is smart. Simply because, well actually really to be honest, it's probably pretty dumb because the second I walk outside I'm going to get sunburnt because my head hasn't seen the sun in however many years. I will tell you what I do look like, I look like a damn convict. Just put an orange jacket on me. I feel like when I go to run my hand through my head for the first time, that's when it'll be weird. Are you saying I have an odd shaped head? I'm saying it looks funny bald. Well, that's a bit rude. You think all oh, bold men? Hey, don't be lying. There are men out there with no to little hair on top of their headset. Hey, look at the rock. The rock's bold. You reckon he, the, the, the rock pulls. The rock pulls. Because of his boldness, not because he's like an A-listed huge movie star. It's just because he's bold. I will admit, I don't seem to be racist here, but I'm yet to name one good bold white person. That's because he doesn't look good for white people. Johnny Howard. Johnny Howard, my boy. Woo! How do you think that looks? Feels slick. Feels very little maintenance. I'm not gonna lie, I hate waking up every morning and doing my hair immaculately. It's frustrating. But we are, we're not getting a haircut, we're getting a boldening. This is way too much hair for my liking. Let's, let's, let's get rid of it. Brute Original Shave Foam, a protection for all types of skins. Now, Brute. That is how you run a company. Gillette, I don't know, you may need to take some marketing from Brute, but kudos. It's just... oh. What, you don't like the feel of my <laughs> egg-styled <laughs> no. egg head without hair? It's your... I'll rub that in there nice and smooth for you. Mm. Yeah, radio. It tastes exactly how it smells. I don't know how that works, honestly. I sit here in silence right now and I think to myself, why? Why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. And look, the answer's really, really simple. It's funny. It's funny. To my knowledge, when The Rock and all that do that, this, they just get the electric razor and roll over their, their head. <laughs> they don't do this. I, th I think like if The Rock was going on Jimmy Kimmel, he would probably do this, but anything else, I feel like he would just slap over it with an old electric one. And like, The Rock is packing, so you know he's got a good and electric razor. Soothing though, well I admit, just... Peaceful. Like, you know how you get those rakes in the Japanese thing and you do the sand? Oh yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's similar to that. If you need inner peace, try shaving your head. Could be the thing you need. Look, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna let you guys sit there and watch a grown man get his head completely shaved. So, let's just see how it actually ended up looking, shall we? 
Okay, if this is out of focus, I do apologize. Uh, I actually can't see my camera. I've turned it away. I can't see what I look like yet because there's two things. One, I never took the shaving cream off my hand and it's stuck. Like, it, it, it's frozen. And look how crystal. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this or not, but look how crystallized the shaving cream became. Second, does my head make the same noise as it did the first time I did it? Let's hear it the first time. <laughs> Can we get the same note out of it? Let's find out. <laughs> oh my god, that's the first time I felt my head. It's so dry, like it's so grippy. Like I feel like Michael Jordan could literally just pick me up and literally just pick me up. It's so grippy. All right, I haven't seen this yet, so I'm gonna flip around the uh, screen on my camera. I'm gonna see what this looks like. How bad looking have I now become? I am now. Oh, jeez! Look at it shine. Give me some wax. I will admit, like really, really close up, my head actually looks super weird. Eh? Like that's is that normal? Is that what the rock's head looks like? Right, before I wrap this video up. If you haven't already left a thumbs up on it, please feel free to. If you haven't subscribed, this is going to really help me out. I'm going to be taking a photo of my face every single day until I get my next haircut. I will not get my next haircut until I have at least 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm currently sitting at like 26,000, so I figured it should take me about a year or two maybe, who knows. But I'm going to be taking a photo of my face every single day as my hair grows back, and I will not be cutting my hair again at all, not once, until I have at least 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe, help me out get a haircut. Thank you so much for all of you guys checking out this video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, or Facebook. You can find all that stuff down below. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to check out these videos and have a good one.